Hello everyone and welcome to the Warband Summer Cup. My name is Grilicious. With me is Kuha. Hello. Hi. Hi. We have Aquilatus versus uh, Eat What You Kill tonight. Um, excited? Very. Very? You sound it too. Yeah, no, definitely. I think I think this one will be good. Yeah, it you should know, be. Uh, compared to the other ones that I've, I've watched so far, where it's pre been pretty much a stomp, you know, I think this will be a this will be a good match to, to be watching. Yeah. And you know, if uh, if not everyone's watching, you should most definitely get your friends and, and get them to tune in. Yeah, I, I fully agree. Also sub and follow and donate and bits and all that. Um, selling out is done. Actually, we're, we're just getting started. Uh, we will like to mention the sponsors, Legion, Legion Gaming, and uh, also Woodwookie, who donated the uh, money for us. I mean, for the tournament. Well, us. yeah. Um, I was about to say, because I want some of that money if it was for oh. us. That is all spent on this amazing new splash screen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, teams are already starting to get ready, so we, we will be a little bit quick here. We have Naval Outposts and Legacy Town. Um, how much do you know about Legacy Town? It's, it's somewhat new. Is it new? It's it's relevant. It's the newest map we we have in the scene, isn't it? I don't think there's been a newest new one since then. It, I mean, it's still a couple of years old. Competitive wise, yeah, it's probably one of the news we have. I like uh, it though. It's a it's a good map. Yeah, it is a good map. Um, it, it's one of the better close maps right now, actually. Uh, Sandy Bush is a little bit overused. Um, so is Valoran. But uh, it's it's nice to see. I don't think a lot of people have developed proper tactics for it. Uh, so it, it's going to be interesting to see what we actually end up seeing here. Um, the Qualitas, they're Roster looks pretty pretty balanced. Uh, pretty much three in every class except for infantry. Maybe a bit lacking though, you know, if they were, if some of the players won't show up, you know, they only have a roster of ten people. And all ten seems to so, have shown up. Yeah, no, but they're pretty dependent on, on on choosing a day that actually suits them. That's that's very true. Um Eat What You Kill have a very big roster, but we will mention that later on because we're already going live. So let's take a look here. Qualitas, oh, four to two, more or less standard at this point. Um, eat what you kill. It's the same setup, four to two. Yes. I wanted to see another infantry there instead of a uh, the archer, but this is For okay. Rodox? Yeah, Rodox infantry are are heavy. Yeah, but don't underestimate a crossbow versus an archer though. Oh, unicorn. already unicorn hit. Yeah. Just pointing out those crossbows, you know, they do so much damage once you actually hit. Yeah, absolutely. Unicorn being down to, to orange health already. Flag spawns in uh, Fountain of Life. We'll see where they decide to go. Pretty standard as well. They, there's not that many ways to go, really. Yep. Uh, Anthony both, scouting them both out. Both teams will challenge each other here, I think. I don't think yeah, anyone Caesar will really is, go for flag. Caesar is very alone, but he has he's no fear. He just pushes towards. <laughs> The rest of his he team knows is his with team him, is Yeah. And oh. his horse getting hammered by arrows. Yeah, Unicorn is getting some good, really good shots in there. Yeah, absolutely. It's moving away a little bit, trying to get a better position. Um, oh, yeah, no, but EK, EK has to do something about this because if Unicorn goes, goes further right now, he'll yeah. be in an amazing position already shooting the crossbow in the archway. Same thing's in a good position of his own, though. But yeah, the the crossfire so far from uh, Aquilatus is really effective. They, and now they gives have them the a flag. free way on the flag as well, yeah. Total I think war. The, the what you kill cavalry should now go in tunnels, kill that archer that's there. Because yeah. Apollo is just being left alone right now. Yeah, hopefully he's not uh, able to spot him as well. The flag is just slowly raising. EK is not really doing anything. They're relying on the crossbows to land some shots. Maybe take down Unicorn. Already been oh, hit once, and now the they move. Harman goes in, gets Harman stopped goes instantly. Stop. Caesar's Anthony's pushing though. Not doing oh, anything. Insane, taking a headshot on Motha. Cavalry just rushes in, gets stopped there. Caesar killing down Disturbed as well. Unicorn take down Anthony. Unicorn's free to shoot again. Harman's gonna push him. Tries to just bump him away, but he gets a little bit trapped. Meanwhile, guys and Qs kills Saxion Gunicus. Looks like Saint and Caesar are doing a 2 versus 1 here, but they get some little, little bit of cap support. Harman goes down, gets stopped and killed. Lapash very low. Saint is getting pushed into a corner now. Last one alive on this infantry force. And Virus, last one alive. Very, very far away from everyone. Qs tries to stop him, gets dismounted, but no no matter. I pulled every triple kill in the end. 
I was a bit disappointed there about the eat what you kill cavalry. You know, both going in uh, in the team fight and not no one really hitting anything. Yeah, uh, the cows in general they didn't really do that much. They kind of oh, just got I, trapped. I disagree. Keys did amazing. Keys did okay. Kill yeah, that, that's true. Uh, he did some solid cooperation there with his infantry. Not sure about the other one. Didn't really see him that much. Yeah, how did Apollo get a triple kill but he only has one kill? Did he team well, Apollo, kill two people? No, Apollo was left to shoot, you know, freely. But it said he had a triple kill, but he only has did one he? kill on the score. <laughs> I don't understand this. Did he team kill two people? No way. That no, was just... going through to the logs, he only killed Virus. Did it, did it... Maybe I'm hallucinating, that's also potentially true, but uh, that seemed a bit strange to me. Could it us getting the flag here though? It didn't, it says. Oh, seems like they'll be pushing them in the middle. Oh, do got, okay. They can lead us once this I push, see. it seems, not backing off. This is uh, potentially really good for AK. If they push him here aggressively, they need to take care of Unicorn, and Caesar looks like he's gonna try for it. Infantry steps in though, to stop him. Really hoping for something from the eat what you kill cavalry now. Oh, he's going for Unicorn. Oh, oh he gets Harman stopped. Gets so... stopped. Disturbed hits him in the back Again. as well, but Virus! Taking him down properly, Harmon is pushing Unicorn, Caesar is trying to help him as well, changes his mind, Kiss tries to hit Caesar in the back but misses, Infantry fights breaking up properly here, Lapache taking out Sucks and Guy's taking down Gunny as well, Guy's getting trapped in a corner and gets bumped down by Wild Horse, Pretty still alive, forward. no punishment from that, Total War getting hit there but no real damage either, double kill for Caesar, he Kiss comes have in, no oh nice hit there by Kiss. Oh. Both calves are kind of just uh, running around here, kissing the three last against three. Two cav and an archer versus two cav, no, two archers and a cav. Sorry. Oh, unicorn taking down virus. Oh. Total war is not in a good spot here. They're Aquilitas very split is up. So wounded though. Yeah. Hopefully the horse of kiss is low. If it's not, oh, oh. nice by saint and total war. Hollow. There's the on unicorn. They if they do this properly. They could do this. Oh. Apollo with a nice shot on Saint. Total War being the last one alive. This is not easy for him dealing with two archers like this. Apollo being a little bit aggressive here, trying to, to double back towards Unicorn. If they not, play. If they I think he just wants to survive. Here, yeah, I guess so. It's not really the way Total War plays, though. He's, he's usually not the defensive type. But um, pushing towards well, maybe, two archers is not easy. Maybe being ordered by it, you know, stable yeah. equipment. Maybe. I'm not sure who uh, who's commanding for eat what you kill. Might be Caesar. They're just probably Caesar. Yeah, Harmon as well is a is a very experienced commander, but you I, know, I kind of haven't seen him around too much. Again, though, you saw the eat what you kill cavalry. You know, they didn't really do anything. Harmon got uh, dismounted himself really quickly. I like that though. Like he was stopped and he saw the archer, so he dismounted and started just pushing him. So yeah. he couldn't be shooting anymore. Very, that was good. Very smart but, uh, by him. It's still though they both the uh, eat what you kill cavalry went down too early. Yeah. Um, I, I fully agree with that as well. Uh, well played by them, but it's not enough in the end. Kolatas taking it 2-0 so far. Apollo being very tanked up here. Not that much else though. Unicorn doesn't really upgrade it at all. Anthony again getting his getting horse boots, actually, on Unicorn. He's a little bit afraid of foot shots, but... Not really what you see archers uh, upgrading. Very often. Well... The the he's got the best head armor, and if he's getting upgrading his uh, his regular armor, it's twelve hundred. The boots are only eight hundred. It's true, but I he did good that round. I think he would have had enough money for it. He did get two kills. Ah, uh, does have two kills overall now. Quotas being the first ones on the flag once again. Ek though, they're trying to push them off, trying to keep them in the in the tunnels here. Total War being just fearless once again, taking a little bit of a lesson. Anthony oh. comes in, bumps down Lapash, kick. Oh, and a nice kill there by Saxio. Uh, Another uh, easy the kill. Coming in from behind now. See what he can do. Doesn't yeah. do much. I a tiny bit of hit on uh, Anthony's horse, but meanwhile, Caesar's just going wild in there. Gets a hit on Saxio in the back though. Cal comes in again, not really getting any hits. Oh. Apollo versus Caesar. But Saint with a double kill there. What a shot on Keys. Apollo's guess getting pushed here. Triple, Triple kill for kill. Saint. He's just shooting for free. Where is he even? He's just, he's just, he's just standing here, just shooting. Yeah. Both but you know, there was, no just... there was no threat to him after uh, after the infantry died. Yeah. Disturbed is is trying to fight the cow in far far away land. Anthony having an old bike. 
not really trying to find a way to push the be... horse to start, then there you go. Yeah, I was about to say, but I gotta be curious how much health that horse had, because he wasn't really trying to survive. Yeah, I, I feel like he could have tried to get away. Um, I am pretty sure they have a tiny, tiny bit of an advantage in speed on Vegas, so he could have maybe gotten out, but uh, they, they kind of trapped him there as well. Not much he can do. Really good positioning though, but what you kill there. Yeah. Getting the early kill as well, and then Harmon just going in, getting the, the initiation was yeah, really well played. It was a good bump by, uh, by Anthony. Yeah. Absolutely, and the flag, we'll, s we'll see it spawning in a little bit here. Looks like a Quotas is expecting it to fl uh, spawn near the uh, the boat area. No damage here, Not nobody really taking any risks at all. But this is hard to push, this, this flag is really hard to push, so I'm excited to see what Equalitas will, will do here. Yeah, they're gonna have to push through the, the left side, but it's very simple for uh, EK to just stop them really if they try to go through middle they would have just gotten crossfired by saint and uh, virus and they actually let them just pass in that's a little bit surprising ek could have just stopped them completely they had a the time for it yeah i think they want the open fight though yeah maybe I mean, for some I reasons yeah i, I kind of <laughs> i wouldn't but uh this uh, tight spot are much better for EK oh, to be fighting. i'm liking the position of saint though can shoot freely from oh, the right Oh, that's there. a very good spot. He can also just shut down Unicorn if he peeks just a little bit more. Unicorn is yeah. very in the open right now. Oh, and I think Anthony sees him. Yeah, Unicorn no, getting shot the there. Oh, just dismounted. Just rushes in there, no real damage at all. Just just gets crushed into the corner. Guys and Hannes goes down though. And the infantry of, uh, of EK being there to oh, help them out. Lopash being kill. very low, gets bumped down by Harmon. Unicorn is just... Trying for to hold on for dear life. Gani is just pushing towards him. Total War is with him. He's gonna try to shield stun eventually here. And no shields to stun, but still doesn't really matter. Disturb Virus fighting doing against real uh, good surviving. Saint. Flag is still untouched at all. They're they're just banking you know, for the kills here. I'm just watching this fight. Virus is surviving against a horse and an archer for so long. Yeah. He's uh, he's done really well here. But Apollo. And Q's last two alive. Unless they pull off a miracle here, they're not gonna be able to do too much. Having a crossbow and a cavalry to fight against. And two infantry. Gani oh. is pushing towards. Oh. Yes, this month they're on Harman though. A little bit of gold gain for them. Q's nice hit on Harman as well. He might go down here. One bump and he's gonna die. Changes away to his shield. Playing a little bit more passively. Total War is in the back with a Opike and it does kill Q's. 15 seconds, they're gonna have to stay on the flag here just in case, but no, no need. Two, that was some solid movement by Iwa e Killer Infantry. As soon as Anthony got his you saw all of them rush forward to yeah. protect him so that he didn't get killed there. Yeah, that, that, was, was, that was pretty good teamwork. That was really smart by them. I mean, EK does have the, the aggressive infantry plays. Uh, Caesar, for example. Gunny as well is very aggressive, and so sucks too. Total War being a little bit more of the defensive player here. Uh, just always having his old pike out, and just getting ready to stop the whatever cap. I like this play by him though. Yeah, it's it's smart. You need someone like him in every match, otherwise you're just gonna get just stomped by the cavalry. I mean, just look at his armor. It's he working is, for him definitely. He's very tanked up. Um, and he's got everything Vegas, he needs right now. It's really hard to to penetrate that. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to. Even like I don't like the times I see a shield, a Rodak shield gets killed by uh, by Vega is very 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 little. Ne never happens really. Potos getting the flag, the flag? again. The flag's Spons on the on boat. Yeah, it's on the boat here. Disturb is just gonna try to uh, to keep it up. Looks like EK is moving towards the, the dock side here. Not going through middle. At so least just trying to get a sneak peek to see if they have anything hidden around the corners here. They do not. Oh, I think Equalitas is out of position here, though. They are. They they might end up... Uh, they uh, definitely yeah, no, they're, lose the position. They're going to be Saints. pushing eat what, you, eat what you kill now. EK uh, Saint taking a little bit of damage here, though. Going down to yellow health. But, I mean, they had the flag here for free. Depending on where they put the crossbows right now. Virus is moving oh, towards the Anthony, backside. Oh, Anthony, though. Again. A little bit aggressive, but again, the, the, the players of EK are there to back him up. Mothra goes down to Harmon. Ganicus and Lapash wow. doing a 1 versus 1. Disturb comes in, but not really getting anything help. Aquilitas, Apollo, and Unicorn doing a lot of good shooting here, though. Take down 3 players in a few seconds. 
Caesar tried to hit Laposh in the back, disturbed as well as Zeri helped Laposh though. Total War being very, very low gets bumped once, but not really no follow up. Gaius is trying to fight off Saxo. Oh, but Unicorn takes on Total War, oh, sneaking Unicorn from the top. top. Beautiful positioning from him. Harm the minion, last one alive. And this looks like a 3 2 for him. Oh, nice kill though. Takes down Apollo. Well, you can't catch it, but he might get some mutant that last kills. Yeah. Guess mm. taken down by a spike club. Not the way you, you really want to end this. <laughs> but uh, again, though, Anthony rushing in and the uh, Eat What You Kill infantry is right there with him as soon as he does it. Yeah, instantly there, just to, to back them up. Uh, very well played that way, Cortez. I'm a bit surprised that Aquilidas didn't kill Anthony right away, though. Yeah, they, they, they had a chance to, really. He was surrounded. You know, it should have happened. It, it really should have, yeah. Um, of course, they're playing very, very well so far. Yeah, what you, well, you kill pulling it back, you know, it was 2 0 and they got two rounds out of that set. I think they're quite satisfied with that now. Yeah, do you think there's a difference in factions here? Do you have any preference on Rodox or Vega? Well, it's hard to say on this map, but definitely I think Vega has the advantage, you know, quick firing and the horses. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the inf infantry fights will be uh, vital, so. Roadhog infantry is a good good thing, but you know, I, I, I don't I think people underestimate cavalry on this map too much. Yeah, uh, I think so as well. I mean, it's it's I don't know what this technically qualifies as. Is it a close map or is it an, a semi? It, it's I not really it, close. I think it's mixed closed. Yeah, you know? it must be because it's not really that closed off considering the next map, which is very close. I mean, cavalry <laughs> yeah. cavalry always has a good impact though. Like, you, if you don't have a good cavalry, you're kind of screwed. That is very true. Um, so far, I, I'm more impressed by Eat What You Kill, Cav, than I am with the Quotas. Um, Qs has played pretty okay. I don't know who it is. Uh, that's kind of the way with the Quotas. You don't really know who they are sometimes. Um, they like to change their names. That just makes it very difficult for us to know. But that's okay. We will just call them by whatever they're called. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, do you think um, Eat What You Kill can make a comeback here? Yeah, definitely. I do believe that they will be winning this set, you know, now they're warmed up and I really like just the way the, the Eat What You Kill infantry performed as Rodox. So, you know, if they can keep that up now that they got the better, uh, better cavalry and uh, with the rapid fire archers, yeah. I do think that they could pull it through. Unicorn and Apollo did do a lot of work for Aquilitas. Uh, yeah, but can they do not as be much to, though yeah, as so crossbows? That's the that's, point, you know? That's the question. Um, I mean, if they put Mellow in, for example, as well, uh, Virus. I don't know who Saint is. Um, again, they also switch their names around a little bit, I guess. Uh, maybe it's a, a very old player, but I can't really f put him down. Um, but I mean, I know Mellow, uh, and I don't know Virus. Both of them are excellent archers. Um, Saint also getting some really good shots. So, you know, Saint has some really good positioning. You know, yeah. I didn't I didn't see that many kills from him, but he was positioned well to help out his team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Saint is TT Crusader, Echo Leonidas, the German player. I'm not sure, even sure if I know who that is. Huh, you don't know Leonidas? I mean, I know all Leonidas, but I mean, Leonidas is not the most like standout name. There's quite a few of them. Uh, so I don't know. We'll uh, we'll have to see what he can do more. Saint isn't TT Crusader. I nobody knows who this is. It's Black Corsair, Black War. Oh, okay, it's him. Okay, okay, I see. Oh, huh, okay. Yeah, that that makes more sense. I mean, then he is playing the class that he is put up on the roster as well. Do you think any of the teams will uh, will be changing anything, or do you think both teams will be running their four two two? Four two two, I think. Um, maybe eat what you. No, I think it's just four two two. Nobody really has the infantry players to play five infantry here. Um, although, I mean, you you could uh, eat what you kill won't play five infantry for sure, with uh, with Vager. So uh, I think they're just gonna keep the same. It looks like they might be keeping the same players as well. Especially on EK. Qualitas uh, kind of just put everyone in, except for Sunny. Who doesn't seem to be playing this set either. It's a bit of a shame. Sunny's a very good player. I haven't yeah. really seen her play that much lately, though. Uh, kind of the same for all of the, the players here. 
Uh, EK, I can see them every now and then. Uh, I would like to see Saxio in there for a pretty witty kill. Yeah. Uh, the long time since I've seen him, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think, I mean, there's a lot of quality players on each team here, so. Whichever they decide to uh, to play, they, they're still okay. And looks like EK is just waiting to get their last player. Even though they have eight already. And there's a lot of spamming in chat. Huh. We have another match after this, so I do hope that uh, this match won't drag on for too long. But we will finish the match. Hopefully the, uh, the other match will wait for us a little bit. <sighs> the background is not exactly correct, but that's okay. We will adapt. I like Reverend Village background. It's very soothing. Soothing. Yeah. It's relaxing. Show says Unity is ready. That's good to know. Harmon is North AFK. Town for Legacy Town. Everyone is just AFK. Well, I could, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just, I, I mean, I, I, I have it. Oh, you, that, yeah, yeah. I have that. Um, just because uh, I kind of needed... I, there was not one already made. And I didn't have time to make a new one just for this. Uh, so, I mean, nobody would notice unless you said it. <laughs> so, thanks, man. Oh, uh, yeah, you're welcome. You know, I, I appreciate I, it. I, I want to be honest with your, your audience, you know? Yeah, that's good. That's great. Make me look like an idiot in front of all the people watching. <laughs> all right, of, seems uh, like we're right, though. Eat what you kill going for 2 2. Yeah, that's kind of expected. Um, both teams seem to be going with the same setup, which is completely acceptable. Saxio wants our attention. Link to Twitch. It is right there in my name. <laughs> um, also, how do you not know my Twitch now? But I, I mean, everyone Billion. should know your Twitch. Exactly. I will write it to him. Alright, flag spawns on both though. Eat what you kill getting it. And they don't want to fight in the open, it seems. They want to they wanna get on the flag. Yeah, why around the boat area. Setting up for a really good crossfire as well. Depending on where they will. It's put, a bit dangerous uh, though going alone like this. You know, if, if the cap rushes him. Yeah, but I mean, virus can stay alive. Um, it depends if they they pull off a really good maneuver with the cavalry. Oh, he's actually gonna just well, move back. Onto yeah, the I think that's wise though, because you don't mess with the leader's cap. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he could have just backed away, tried to lure Equalitas into a bad corner, but. I like Saint's position though. That's really good. Hopefully, he'll get some good shots in. Oh, he's very far away though. He's gonna be very risky shooting into this fight, considering the hill there as well. Oh, but look at look at he, well, he killed though, allowing Equalitas to basically go around them. Yeah, Caesar being very low health though. Lapash. Oh, Caesar they're just trying to flick through the wall. Uh, Ganico's taking down Lapash and Unicorn taking down Virus. Very important kill for Unicorn. Oh, there goes Saint. Oh, a team kill there from EK as well. Not a good start for them, but a team kill in return. This third comes in, tries to hit, but he misses, gets dismounted for it. Very, very low. Guys is very low as well, though. Ganicus is trying to push him here. Total War and Anthony trying to push uh, Hannes Durgot. Unicorn is just in the backline, though. He can still shoot. He's trying to land a shot on Farman, but he changes his mind here. Danny fighting three infantry now. Like, yeah. he's capable, but I doubt he'll make it out of this one. Yeah, he does get the killer by uh, Gaius. Very well played by him. Last one alive is Harman once again. And Harman seems to be either last one alive or the first one in. I mean, sometimes both. <laughs> uh, four players left from Aqualitas. Looks like a pretty clean round for them. Yeah, no, I'm very disappointed about what you killed though. Allowing Aqualitas basically just... Because they have the stronger infantry. They shouldn't allow them to get into the closed area of the boat. They should stop them before they reach it. Yeah. Use their archer up top and then in the back, you know, use their cavalry. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, what happened to Saint as well? Did he push towards the flag? No, no, he got pushed by a cavalry. Oh, okay. Uh, as soon as the infantry fight broke out, he started go forward to the to the cart, and then Keys came in and basically one stabbed him. Smart player. One hit then. stabbed him. Um, Apollo trying to kick guys. If he does that, he will kill him, and he does have an old pack, so they do not want to do that. Looks like Harmon will get away, saving a little bit of his money. Um, That's good. Yeah, it's like a sour victory. You don't really want it, but if you can Is take it, it, you will. It's not a loss for him. <laughs> for him, it's not. Yes. Uh, for his team, though? Absolutely. Most likely. 
Kind of being the one, only one player on need to kill with, uh, with getting kills as well. Uh, oh, there was one team kill as well, so. Looks like Okotas kind of just wants to push them. This oh. could be really good. They trap out Saint and Caesar here. They have to commit to a fight. Caesar being the last one out. He's, oh, no. he's looking to fight a lot out. of people. Q's good bumps. Bump. No follow up. The Harmon dismounts Q's, but he still goes down. He's just going to trade horse with him there. Anthony oh. comes in as well, getting a lot of damage done, but also take, it takes a lot of it. He's trying to hit them down here, but he doesn't really land it. Q's goes down to Meldo. Both the way kill Cav is down. Caesar and Meldo both with a double kill here. Saint is trying to shoot down this third horse. Oh, and a nice headshot by Saint. That was two beautiful shots by both Apollo and Saint. That was beautiful. Apollo is trying to look to lock down Saint here, but he's getting pushed into Milo as well by Meldo. Very well played by Meldo as well this round. Being the, the fresh one in and already making an impact. One versus one here, both areas. Where in the world is Unicorn? Oh, he's fighting Virus. He's so far away. Saint as well. They're Wait, fighting on the he's flag holding though. The flag, though. This is smart by EK sending two people towards uh, against the one and on the flag, but a team hit there. Virus is a little bit aggressive in his, in his hits. He's also fighting two archers. Here. Unicorn could do a lot here. Power strike of Vegas. Oh, oh and the soft spot takes him down. Putting one on the flag, I assume, and then sending the rest to help uh, the rest of his team. Hun Gunny versus Hunnis. It's an interesting fight. Apollo takes on Meldo. I would not believe that. They actually end up winning the 2v2. There's one minute kinda. left. Looks like they're, they're gonna try to make it onto the flag, but Saint isn't a very good safe. But all very four players positions. are wounded. Yeah, they are. They're gonna have to push forward. It's not what you want to push into. 50 Two seconds. archers as well. Saint sneaking up on the, on the right here. Yeah, he's gonna try to get some shots off, but uh, he's gonna have to run to help Virus at some point. Look Maybe at this he can take though. down Apollo. Oh, oh he, he missed, hits though. the inside of the shield. Takes down one shield though, looking to take down Apollo properly. Nice oh. shot by Saint. Virus versus Hunnus. They have to stay around the flag. Oh, nice by Saint. The double kill to finish off the round. That was good. Beautiful that was really play. good by Virus and Saint there. Good play. That was very smart. That's how you play two versus two in this situation. Very, very smart. Though, did you see that? He, he, what you killed there, uh, as soon as Aquilidas pushed them, they started pushing back, but then we were like, no, we don't want to do this after all. Yeah. You know, it was it was that indecisiveness that, that kind of ended it for them and yeah. killed, um, uh, killed, who was it, Gani, who got stuck at? Yeah, I think so. Um... Definitely. I mean, and it didn't help that you, you kill Cav died as soon as they entered the fight. No, 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 absolutely. Um, that was that was interesting to see. Um, I, it looked good for Clotas in the beginning, but it would you kill infantry. He's just doing a lot of work, and and these archers as well. Just been on point. Ek getting the flag here once again. But Saint. this time they don't want to fight in the in the closed area. So like you know the Raegers, they want the open fight. This is what they should do. Oh, Total War getting a shot there in the leg. Very well played by uh, the crossbows of Qualitas. Except they're gonna try to push the same position. Oh, and oh. Unicorn with a kill! Taking down Total War completely! Gaius goes down as unicorn. well though! Harman takes him down like it's nothing! One for one trade. Virus getting pushed here. He's gonna have to back away, but the infantry are here to back him up. This could be very bad for Equalitas, having a crossbow here, trading with an archer. Anthony comes in, gets stopped, looking like they don't want to punish him too much. That's dismounted though. Soxo, uh, Soxo goes down to Lapash. And Apollo with another headshot on Harmon, taking him down easily. Same thing down Kyrus, Anthony's fighting with an ore pike out, or a lance out. He tries to get spammed down by Motha. He's holding his own, he's fighting three players soon. This third comes in as well, he tries to help him out, but he gets dismounted. Gets hit in the back, double kill by Gunny. Oh, really good play there by Gunny. Three versus three. Look at the health of Aqualitas though, compared to EK. Anthony's just trying to push towards Evo Unicorn. Killed. They're just so, they cannot decide what to do here, they're just sitting around. Yeah, Anthony's I'm gonna push onto the fly here. Unicorn's playing it smart, uh, doesn't know how low Anthony is. You can see the the, the like just a little bit of hesitation from uh, from Aqualitas to take this fight. One versus one versus one here. Not a single team fight. Apollo taking down Virus. Apollo's been playing really well. Hunnis, oh my god, they oh. all win the one v ones. Apollo kind of just comes in to steal a kill on Anthony, but 
<laughs> nice mind play. though, the Iwe kill was really wounded there at the end. Absolutely. Uh, every single but, one of them was on red health. But again, you know, Harmy got an early kill and that was good and all, but in the fights themselves, they're... The Iwe kill cap is not performing enough. They're not supporting their team enough. They just charge in and die yeah. instantly. The... I really want to see more from them. Yeah, just getting a kill. I mean, to be fair, they did get a kill on Caius. Uh, that was very well you know, done. Trading the one for one, but still, they, they need to yeah, do no, a little bit more. They, they do okay early game, but in the fights where they should be supporting their infantry, they just go and die. Yeah, this is very good by Equotas as well. Pushing their infantry and archers into melee. Total War with a nice step, Saint with a beautiful hit on Motha. And Gunny is, is trying to fight him off here. Harman comes in from the back, very well done. Meldo I takes advantage. Should back off now. Double kill for Saint, another head uh, shot on, uh, on Disturb. Fight moves into the open, Saint's looking for his third kill, takes it. Looking for his fourth, Unicorn is the last one alive. Doesn't take it though, Melo takes the kill there. Saint with triple kill. Saint Saints is did doing amazing. really well. Just beautiful team play by Eat What You Kill. Every time there's a chance to take an advantage of a fight, they this is instantly take it. 5-4, very, very close, both sets so far. But you saw they were very much they were a lot quicker into the tunnels this time. They didn't leave anyone behind yeah. which they did the the second round, I believe yeah. it was. Unico uh, I mean, Equalitas should have had that uh, that round though. They could have just kept pushing, but some, some very well play by. Uh, I, th I think that early Saint kill from War. Saint put yeah. them off a little bit. You know, they yeah. got a bit scared. Yeah, I I think so as well. Also, they didn't really have their cap support like they've had so far in the game. Yeah, I noticed that as well. They he tried to come in from the back, but not really getting much done. Um, gets stopped and killed. And EK getting the flag once again. They haven't really had that much luck on this flag. Saint taking the relatively the same position as before. Yeah, looks like he's going back. Yeah, no, they're him. positioning as they did the the third round here, just in front of the boat, yeah. waiting for Aquilitos. Yeah, hopefully they can make uh, make it work a little bit better. But we'll see here. They're in a good position. They do control the flag as well. Coltus is trying to push towards the right side here. It's like again trying to push away from Virus. Harmon is coming in though, nobody stops him, Guy is oh. getting uh, trapped for it as well. Harmon doing alright here, if he can, yeah, if he can he's just harassing keep them. turning their backs. Where is the Quotas cavalry? They you should them be them waiting here. in the courtyard. Yeah, they're just kind of waiting. I guess maybe they want to take Saint, Saint moving training position as well, taking the boat. A little bit aggressive, Harmon is pushing Unicorn in the backside. Oh, here comes oh, the leader cavalry. Taking down Saint, a very important kill. Double kill in return though from EK. The Posh and Meldor fighting. Gannikos comes in to help him. Nice shot by Virus from the side here. Meldor taking down the uh, duel got as well. And La Posh with a kill on Gannikos. Trades of being uh, kills are being traded here. Unicorn Only with unicorn a kill on left. Virus. It's not much he can do at this point. He might get a kill or two, but this is over. Eat what you kill has to set. Yeah, absolutely. 5-5 five, five is going to be the first score uh, on this first map here. Really close. Solid work there again by Iwe Kill uh, yeah. Archers. Yeah, Archers so far have been making a massive impact on this game. Um, yeah, we, we didn't see much of Virus this set, but this last round he, he really stood out. I kind of have this in my head as well that Virus is a better open map Archer. Uh, it's, this, uh, it's stuck in my head a little bit. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but in my head that's, that's kind of where I've seen him perform uh, in the past. Um, we're now switching over to a way more close map though, Legacy Town. Nords versus Serenids. Um, not really hard to see who has the advantage here, is it? Um, Nords should be able to, to do a lot of work. Any... Uh, you know, um, that's... It might just be that I'm very biased for Serenids, because I actually love that faction, but it's just... I think you're underestimating. Like, yes, Nord Infantry is superior to pretty much anyone. However, just uh, the, the the weapons that they get and this, the switches they can do with their archers, you know, getting simis, getting heavy armor, uh, getting some axes. You know, don't don't underestimate the Serenade Infantry. Okay. And, you know... I, I see what you mean. I'll, 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 I see your, your heavy armor-ish, and I will trade you Nord axes that will one-hit them anyway. Yeah, but that goes for any faction. Well, yeah, Keep but I mean, look at the that, helmets well, no, no, of Serenade. It, Serenade infantry will probably go half of them getting their, their Serenade axes, which is well, yeah. probably better than the Nord axes. 
But I mean, regards. they'll still have pajamas. Like they'll they'll still have a head armor that does like blocks nothing. Yeah, no, definitely. As I said, you know, Nordic infantry is is the best either way. But you know, don't put them that far over the Serenade, especially seeing as Serenade will have the stronger cav and the better archers. Okay, I I, I, I accept the the archer part, but I mean cavalry, I don't know. Jab cavs still gonna make an impact here. It's not an yeah, open map, but still. They'll, they'll, they got paper horses, which will get jabbed down immediately by your javelry, as you call them. Yeah. But they also got lances, speed, maneuverability. Especially on this map, maneuverability is going to be really massive, I think. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of corners here that they can make good use of. Uh, oh. But we see Tally and Bellendor coming in from where you kill uh, Spectator, which will most likely play, because uh, they're really good players. So, you know, yeah. that might be a huge impact for you, which kill here. Yeah, I, I think so as well. But honestly, at this point, I would I would keep the same team. They've been playing really well together as well, and I mean, the, it's it's traded I, five I, five. But I would just kind of risk the same team. They kind I, of warmed think, up now as well. Yeah, but I think I'd put in Bellendor because you know, eat what you kill cavalry. Harman has been doing good, uh, but in the team fights, as as we as I talked about earlier, they haven't really stood out that much. And you know, I think I think if they put in Bellendor as a cavalry, I think that will change a little bit. That they can do a bit more uh, in the team fights with their cavalry. Would you switch out uh, Anthony though, or or Harmon? I mean, I, oh, I, I kind I'd, of I'd switch out Anthony. Yeah, I think Anthony... I, I see. I see Anthony more as an infantry player. Yeah, same. Like I would, I would easily trade uh, in Anthony. Anthony's a decent cav, um, but I mean, I would still trade him. I would keep him as infantry. Yeah, no, he's he's a really good infantry. Yeah, there's no doubts about that. Yeah, I, I would keep that. Um, Tally as well is a good player. Uh, so, e either way, I think they have a strong team here. Aquota is not really having that many people they can switch in. I want to see Sunny play. Uh, looks like she, she might yeah, be... No, they don't have that many to, to switch in, but as, as as we both said before we just streamed Sunny, you know, they, have a, they have a solid lineup with their time players. Yeah. I mean, the uh, thing is, all of them show up. Like You, you can't really argue with having a, a small roster when they all show up for matches. And Aquatus has kind of always had a small roster. They, they've never really been this, like, we have 50 members kind of thing. Uh, like DOF. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Who do you think will win this uh, this uh, map? Lords. Do you, you, you think it'll I be think a tie? Lords. I think 3-3. Three, three. For both uh, teams? Yeah, I think so. Both teams have proven they have good infantry. EK having a little bit better infantry so far. But I know the team play of the Aquatus <laughs> infantry. They're really on point. Um, I'm kind of disappointed not having seen it too much so far. Yeah, you know, you say that, but it's stood out so far that you, you kill infantry has been the best uh, in the team fights. You know, Equalita's support, you know, their ranger and their, their cavalry has, has stood out more yeah. than their infantry so far. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. Um, I, I and think and that also, will change, though. Also, their tactics, I think, Equalita's tactics has been much better than eat what you kill. You know, Jumping on those weak points that uh, Eatway kill, for example, uh, in the second round uh, of the second set where they just mashed on, I think it was Gannicus, and Eatway kill just left him alone because they, they didn't have the capacity to push back. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like I agree with that. Um, I mean, do you, it depends now, though, how prepared are they for, for this map? As we mentioned earlier as well, this is a relatively new map in competitive. This, like, usually when you tra and play training matches, you don't say, oh, let's play Legacy Town. Like, you play the normal maps, you play, like, Reverend Village, you play, like, Valoran, Sandibush, these maps, Castellum. Uh, I don't think I've played ever a training match on this map when people have decided, like, okay, um, let's, let's do this map. I mean, only before the, uh, the tournament matches have I ever played this map in training matches. So, I don't know. It might be interesting to see. It might not be as many tactics as, uh, as you expect here. You know, you say that, but at the same time, pretty much every team is doing uh, practice scrims each week now, sure. and they do the tournaments maps to be prepared for them. That's true. Um, you know, I, I, I do, I do think though that Eat What You Kill is more prepared, just because they got so much more, so much more players. You know, they, they play. I see a lot of players from from EK, EK from on IG, for example, playing on these tournament ma maps. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's a fair point. I'm just babbling now. <laughs> no, no, it's good. Babbling is okay. I mean, that's all I do ever, anyway, so... Um, looks like we will not be going live quite yet. I think both teams are ready, just doing a restart. See how the drops went. Quotas is ready. 
So EK seems to be also ready. So we should be going live here. Uh, Quota starting as Nords. Any prediction on setup? Uh, are, you, are you sure about that statement? Uh, they I think they're starting as Serenids. All right, Serenids on the Quotas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I think they'll go sta pretty much standard 4 2 uh, and e way kill, maybe going 5, 5 infantry, 1 archer, 2 cap. I would love to see 6 infantry. Yeah, no, it's a don't, little bit they heavy. don't need the archer on this map, yeah. I feel. Uh, I would really like to see that, but I don't think we will see it. Yeah, no, we see both Tali and Virus going in as archers uh, yeah. for, uh, for Nords. Strange they, 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 they just do one cav. I don't like this. this I do is think that they need two cavalry. They have one cav and it's Anthony, the infantry player. This is a, a really strange setup. I I'm not sure if I like this. I mean, I think play this will Caesar. hurt them. Yeah, I, I think this will hurt them a lot. Definitely, you know, take advantage of this. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, Harmon, they're taking a little bit of early damage as well. Not not a lot. This is what uh, the the starting bows will do, which is, as I said, not a lot. Flag does spawn in Quotas' favor, but I mean they have a lot of infantry here to, to try to stop them. Oh, looks like Mothra taking a big hit there as well. Fight breaks out, Caesar leading the charge here. Nice land, nice follow up as well by Tali. Disturb getting stopped, instantly taken down by Anthony. Tali with a headshot on Harmon, a team kill. Not good, Meldo is stuck there with the spear, switches to his axe. That's a good hit, but no follow-up there. He's taking down both the EK archers, though. Yeah, that's very important by them. And the Moth is now uh, taking down Caesar as well. And Kuss and Unicorn doing a lot of work. Meldo and Total War. Total War with a stab on his teammate. Instant return there from Kuss as well. Taking down um, Total War and Meldo going down to the push. And the quality is getting a... a a As messy I win predicted, here. I just have to say this. Look, the infantry that was just fell a... down, but the Serenid support is so good. They're Cav, the Rangers. You know, that's true. But that those team kills as well, though, from from e what you yeah, kill that them, was the a team really hits. unfortunate team kill. They were Italian. leading that fight the entire time until that team hit started. So let's, that's very true. let's not go too crazy here. No, uh, but it'll, the the. Uh, Eway kill archers did not have any awareness there. Keys come in, got a couch on a virus, and then just turned around and and, and took Tally down. Yeah. That's uh. Well, we'll see here. We'll see if they can do this again. Um, I think the team kills hurt eat what you kill way too much there. Very maybe a little bit too nervy for them. Like the nerves are starting to hit them. And now the Serenid infantry is really dangerous because you know they got the axes and some of them also has the upgraded armor. This upgraded is, armor this, is gonna be massive for them. This is really this gonna make an effort. This is what Serenade is about, you know. As soon as you get upgraded, you know, you can't be stopped. And I, and I think the Aquilitas will just snowball this and get the 3 0 now. Oh, I, uh, 3 0 is, is very. Uh... No, I, I'm predicting it right now. All They're right. gonna get a 3 0. You think? I, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm, I'm gonna say. Probably 3 2. And also, just the way that uh, Eat What You Kill is pushing now, this side is really hard to push because you got a unicorn staying up top, shooting down on them. You know. Kuse comes in, tries to hunt down Anthony. Not a hit on Anthony's horse. Anthony being very, very trapped here. Paul taking a bit of a hit though. He a little bit low, but the infantry fights breaking out as well. Total War and Anthony and Mello all taking damage. But doesn't really matter too much. They end up falling down. Motha and Duel got double kill for him. Armand here trying to land a hit on Unicorn, but this didn't really manage to do it. Only three left from Eat What You Kill. All of them being trapped away. Nice hit by Harmon. It's not going to make too much of an impact, I think. Guys with his uh, trap with his uh, bamboo spear. And Harmon is just gonna tr like moving into the enemies. They just they cannot have two archers. They're just not able to make the, any impact. Yeah, no, I completely agree with that. They have to do a change, put in yeah. another cav or an infantry, anything. But you know, the two archers is not working. Yeah. Especially not the way they're that they're pushing, because you know they're not utilizing both archers. They're just having them behind their infantry. Yeah, I I fully agree. They need to change something up. Doesn't look like they will though. Um, Harmon actually going. Anthony? Okay. No, no, no. That was fine. I thought Harmon was their cab because, you know, he's an actual cab player. But, uh, no. Anthony's staying as cab. Uh, I disagree with this wholeheartedly. Um, I, I would have just switched Tally into to a cab or Caesar. Uh, a little bit strange from coming from them. They, But we'll see what they can do here. Aquilid is doing what they've been doing the entire map, you know, just waiting for, for Eat What You Kill to push them and then they just use everything they have. Yeah. 
Um, the archers of Aquatus have done a lot of good, good so far. Kyrus as well has been doing great job. Definitely, um, but this time though, Equalitas has to push them, and they're doing what I feel is the right thing. They go for middle, yeah. or potentially the left side here. You know, it's really hard to push where they were. Oh, EK, it looks like they're gonna push. They're pushing with two archers though. They don't want Unicorn to get up here, but he still ends up getting up. Armin is pushing them, fighting two versus one technically. Melo comes in to help them as well though. Guy's Anthony getting shot there. Gani is there too. Ganicus and Anthony go both getting a kill here. Unicorn is fighting on his own though, but Harmon takes him down. Very, very rapid kill. So the Pash, very, very low, gets killed by team kill by Equalitas. Harmon still fighting here, fights against uh, Hannes. And Equalitas just like, just cleaned up once more. Three players left from Eve to kill. And Kiss just 5 0. Hannes 4 1. Apollo 2 0. Just... Equalitas still has to push though. They do, but they have Apollo in a very good position here. Doesn't look like Virus is able to deal with them really. And Tully did a nice headshot on Dulgot. He started pushing Virus, trying to get him out of the fight. Hornet's trying to deal with Apollo as well. And once again, this one versus one versus one is breaking out. Tully with a nice kick on Kiss. The third does take down Virus though. He's gonna bump him down and easy follow up by Kiss. And you're actually correct. Looks like a 3 0. I I feel like EK just had a terrible setup here. Yeah, no, and it's also just their stubbornness, you know, not changing. You know, it didn't work two times, then it's not gonna work a third against an yeah. upgraded team. Yeah. You have to do something to change it then. This is this is really surprising to me. Um There's no no reason for them to have lost this 3 0. Maybe I mean if you have a superior team, which I mean the Kultus is a good team as well, but EK is also equally good. I think this was just a little bit poor planning by uh, by EK. Um, but they they also had the upper hand there uh, on the third round. You know, they they were fighting close quarters. They were getting kills, but then I don't know if it was that they they fell apart. You know, the infantry just split up, or if it was the the Aquilitas cab coming in to destroy things. But you know, then they all started dying. Yeah, spread out. You know. Um. I'm just sending a quick message. You can keep talking. Oh, well, thank you. No, it's just... The, the E-Way kill, as I said, you know, they had, they had the advantage there, but I think it's their lack of teamwork. You know, I've, I've been bragging about their teamwork on the first map for, for ages now, but I think that it, it fell apart here. Either it was from... Just their players being aggressive players, as you mentioned earlier. You know they are aggressive players by nature. Seeing them on IG and and other scrims, but yeah, they, it's just they they couldn't follow through here what they had started in the in the in in the first fight. Yeah, um, it, the the team play of the Qualtas Infantry did great there. Uh, even the fight on the staircase where Nords should just dominate. They had no reason to lose that fight, but Qs did a lot of good work. Yeah, no, but support as well. Yeah. Eat way kill though, they did win that fight on the staircase. You know, they got two kills on Aquilitas, but then Yeah, but then it turned again. Yeah, it was it was like I said, either it was the the Eat Way Kill infantry that split up, you know, as you said, they're aggressive players, or it was the Aquilitas Cav and support that just pulled through. Yeah. I I fully agree. I really wish I had a webcam on it, because I'm just I'm using my hands in this conversation yeah, so I, much. Yeah, I'm doing them too. I mean, it's, it's, it feels weird. Uh, yeah. We might actually look into this in the future. Just, we'll, we'll see. Uh, it would make things a lot easier sometimes. 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 Um, but do you expect the same here from Aquotas? Do you think they'll take 3-0 again on north side? I think that they will roll on this. Maybe not get a 3-0, but I do think that they will win this map. Um, they only need I the one not, to win the game. Yeah, I do not think that they will do the same tactic as e -E Kill and getting four infantry, no, five infantry, one cav, and two archers. Yeah. Uh, but I'm really hoping from e -E Kill now that now that they will put in Bellendor as a cavalry instead yeah. of Anthony, because I think no offense to Anthony, you know, he's an amazing infantry player, but I don't think that he should be playing cavalry. No, I, I do kind of agree with that. Uh, I mean, again, like what Asu said, he's an okay in, uh, cavalry, but um, just still a bit strange to see him play cavalry here. Um, uh, I'm reading the chat real quick here. Video settings before the set starts seems to be an issue with the stream. Close of the video fade. 
haven't seen that. Maybe it's my bleep PC. Um, my PC is not the best, but uh, has anyone else noticed this as well? I haven't changed anything. Okay, it's on. Okay, it's just you, uh, Sir Alex. You're the only one. Now that's a uh, copy paste in chat. Great. <laughs> we are now a professional esports stream. <laughs> yeah, you right. copy past us. Uh, we are live though. Yes, we. No, it's not live. Is it not? They said. Okay, definitely not live. Yeah, no, um, they said we're not live before they uh, they restarted. I was having my hopes up and everything. There's another match that's just waiting. So you know, maybe now would be a good time to mention uh, the sponsors of the tournament. It would definitely. We we do appreciate you, uh, Legion Gaming and um, One Wookie. One Wookie still hasn't gotten their um, their uh, their banner up, which is very disappointing. Yeah. I mean, it's not my fault. They were making it. They haven't made it and sent it to me yet. So it's not my fault. Uh, I do uh, want to see their logo though. Uh, so please send it to me. Uh, but yeah, if you are interested in joining big events, join the Legion Gaming event on Tuesday. Um, there is uh, basically a line battle kind of thing for native. Uh, with cavalry and archers included and infantry of course. So if you're interested in those events, join up. And uh, Von Wookie. I, I don't have too much to say about them, really. Uh, an old clan with great people uh, and who help us sponsor these uh, these great tournaments. So big thank you to them. And there's a lot of team killing going on in the favor, in the honor of One Wookie and Legion Gaming. There's now team killing. Congratulations, One Wookie! You've made it. They are team killing in favor of you. Yes. Or in blood. to honor you. Blood for the blood god. Beautiful headshot there by Saint as well. In the... Which here. no one can see. It's just you saying it. So it's... they just have to take Trust your word for it. Trust me. It's, it was a beautiful it, headshot. It, it wasn't that beautiful. It was beautiful. You don't know. You're not an archer. What are I you mean, even? Anyway? I, I was an archer, mind yeah, you. Once upon a time. Yes, once upon a time. For three years I was a ranger. Thank you very much. Three years a ranger. Yeah. You're not Aragorn. <laughs> Although we did give a quality uh or eat what you killed the banner for uh, for Gon and Gondor, so but yeah. Um looks like so what do you see. think that we will see out of this set? Do you think eat what you kill will pull I through? Mean, clearly I didn't I don't I don't know. Nords should dominate this map so easily. But so far Aquilitas has just been playing better. Smarter as well. So I think Aquilitas are guaranteed to win. Uh, I think EK will grab around though. No, I, th I think it's what I said uh, between sets, uh, between maps rather. You know, Aquilitas having the better tactics, uh, yeah. using their footmen better. I think that has a is a very vital uh, point on this map. Uh, and does. we were very right. Aquilitas going three cav, four infantry, and one archer. And I like this. This is three good cavalry though north. on this map. Yes. Do not yeah. underestimate the javelry. Yeah, but still, I mean, okay, we'll, we'll see what they do here, but I, I don't, I don't know. If one gets stopped, it's gonna stop all of them. It's just gonna be well, a train wreck. Also, e -way Kill is finally not using Anthony as a cavalry. They switched into infantry, and I'm excited to see what, if he, if he can this do is, better now. This is a really good idea. Prusak and Harriman is a really strong cav team. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this, this should be good to see. Uh, Quiltas also seems to be... Oh, they will get met here by EK though. They just wanna throw the javelins a little bit, trying to do a little bit of damage. Looks like they hit a horse there. Harmon taking a tiny, tiny bit of damage there. Not a lot, but he does get pummeled again. The javelins are just flying for Quiltas. Yeah, no with three, uh, damage, three cavalry, I expect a lot of ca uh, javelins for, for the Equilitas infantry. I wonder if some of them have ten javelins even. They could potentially do that with this drop. But maybe they don't. Oh, Gaius pushing behind them. Yeah, Prusak as well is coming in to try. Kyus is coming in. Gaius is getting hit all hard though. Nice bump down there. The total war goes down to the team player Johannes Dugot. And the cavalry. Prusak comes in as well. Not really landing any hits. Aquatas is dominating so far. Gannikus takes a kill back on Motha though. Kyus tries to come in here. Nice ki bump kill on Gani. Anthony is fighting alone. He's trying to get out. He's fighting against two cavalry. Stops one, hits the other. 
Oh, and another uh, hit, but the bamboo spears do not deal a lot of damage. Prusak getting dismantled as well. Kuz is getting killed by Anthony. And it's a 2 versus 3. Anthony doesn't have a shield though. There's an archer shooting at him. Disturb takes him down. Apollo being pushed here by Caesar. This is a fight that Caesar does not want to lose, but he does. Disturb takes him down. 9 5 so far to a quarter. And corpse kick there from Apollo. That's. That's something. A bit rude. <laughs> a little bit rude. Um. I mean, it's not that we expect it's much different. Both of these teams have been talking a lot between sets and everything. Uh, so it's, they seem friendly with each other. So it's all in good fun. And Kotas looks like maybe they just want to push again. I could see them do that right now. They have everything working for them. I do think that Iwe Kill should maybe put away one of their archers. Yeah. In favor they, of, of an infantry. They've been running these two archers the entire time. It, it really hasn't been working for them. It hasn't worked out for them this map at all. Yeah. I mean, they did good the previous map, but you know, in this map, they're not utilizing them right. They, they can't get the crossfires that they should be getting. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, EK does, and I'm getting the flag here. Maybe they can do some work. Look at those jabs flying again, though. Yeah, they're, they're putting a lot of pressure on EK. Cavalry is going to have to try to sneak a hit in the background here, but they're still just defending it so well, they, they can't really do that. They're just slowly pushing EK off the flag completely. Soxo here is uh, in a corner, just trying to land a shot. Their show seems to be his target, but it's not easy to land his shots. And look, they're just completely dominating this. They just they stole the flag right in front of them. EK is so afraid to fight, they're just look backing at off. all the javelins though, hitting the walls. <laughs> they, they kind of just, I think Aquatus is trying to bait them into taking up the javelins and then that's like hurting them afterwards. But he oh, seems to be pushing, pushing them forward back now, a little though. bit more, yeah. No more javelins in. Harman goes in, taking a lot of health down though. Getting stuck though. Oh. Does go down to Apollo, but Ganik has taken down Motha. I think it's been quite aggressive so far. Does go down as well. Kuz taking down Saksu. Oh, and Kuz getting stopped there, but doesn't really matter. Hanus is there to back him up. And just pure domination once again from Aquilatas. Gunny, the last one alive, and Duskull now as well. Pure, just destruction. This is what you expect to see from North on this map. Very Yeah, this, this is how EK should have been playing. You know, maybe not 3K, but this is how they should be playing. Yeah. You know, I don't feel one like Archer they're... being aggressive with their javelins, with their infantry, you know. Yeah. This is what, as you said, this is what we expect from the Nord Infantry, which is usually why they are the uh, preferred faction to win on close maps. Yeah, they're, they're, they're playing it the way they should. I, again, as you mentioned as well, I, don't, I wouldn't have three cavalry, but I mean, you can't argue with yourselves. Shout out, apparently, to Sigs and Kane. Do they deserve it though? Kane does. He supports my channel. Uh, Sigs, no. Awkward silence. Equiptos pushing towards the flag. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna be ending up meeting up here. EK seems to be a little bit faster. Disturb the stairs to try to slow them down. Equiptos running full speed towards. They they should have just waited a little bit longer and then catch them off guard. Total War taking a big hit. So is Caesar. And Sho taking on Saxo. Oh, there's so much jab damage here. Sho getting another hit on both Saint and the Cav. Sho's just throwing for days here. Just keep throwing. Oh, it try almost hits the headshot there on Total War as well. Runs out, but I mean the damage is done. The Qualitas is just destroying them. Gets hit in the back by a teammate. Total War is his target, goes down as well, and just pure domination. 11-5 final score. Aqualitas was all over the place, just throwing javelins. That was that was quite something there at the end. Yeah, that was. And that you know, really it's just in time as well. Perfect timing for the scrum. Oh, that's true. So don't uh -huh. go anywhere, people. No, you shouldn't go anywhere either. It's been played on this server. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we maybe maybe you should say what's happening next. Uh, <laughs> next match will be Unity versus BLD. BLD versus Chevalier. I've practiced saying this name so many times, so long that I'm still screwing it up. Well, you impressed me. That's good. That's all I care about, really. Um. Massive congratulations to Equalitas for, for winning this match. A very deserved victory there for doing six rounds on the on the second map. Yeah. Um I feel like Eat What You Kill can do a lot better. Uh maybe just a little bit
problems with the commanding there. I, I feel like the setups were, was not really working for them. I um, do not understand how they did not play Bellendor uh, at all. You know, it just yeah, might I mean, be. It, 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 I might be like completely in my own opinion here, but he, I th like he's a very solid cavalry. Yeah. And you know, if you if your cavalry is struggling as much as the e EK has been doing, you know, you should try something new. Yeah. Put I, someone I, else in. Fresh blood there. Usually, if you if you're winning. You don't have to switch anything up, but I mean the the cavalry weren't really performing as well as I I kind of expected from them. Looking at the roster there, I mean again I would have loved to see hives um, on Eat What You Kill, but I always want to see hives. I miss hives. Uh, Caesar playing cavalry would have been cool as well. He's a very good cav. Um, Tally played archer and not cavalry. I mean they just they played such strange things. They kind of just screwed themselves over. Um, but I mean you can't argue too much. Um, like, well, does just generally play better. They didn't play Sunny either. I I want to see her play. It's been a long time since we saw that. Isn't Talia a Ranger? Oh, he used to be Cav. I, I remember him as Cavalry more than Archer. I mean, he can kind of play everything. But, um... But still. Yeah. Gotta, gotta give a shout-out, though, to Equalita's Cavalry. You know, especially Keys. You know, I, I think that... If not MVP, then up among the top three. He did solid work there the entire match. He did, absolutely, yeah. Um, what we will do now is congratulate uh, Aquatus one more time before we go. Uh, we will take a quick break because I need to get something to drink. My mouth is dry. So we will be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, meanwhile, I will uh, prepare the next match. So we will be right back, everyone. 